Yesterday we saw the release of the Citra Nintendo 3DS emulator become available on the Google Play Store on Android. And this is actually really cool. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to download it, how to decrypt your existing 3DS games, and I'm going to show you guys how well it runs. This is Steve from Nostalgia, and let's get started. All right, guys, welcome to the channel. If this is your first time viewing any of my videos, thank you for joining us. Please consider going down below the video to subscribe to the channel while we are on our way to 30,000 subscribers. Now, let's go ahead and get this thing started. So yesterday, we got an official announcement from Citra about their Android application being available. So what I'm going to do is leave all the links in the description down below. On your mobile phone, you can go right to this website and they will have a direct link to download the emulator. Now there is a ton of stuff to go over. They have a lot of users and a lot of developers that are working together. So I do wanna give a shout out to the entire team. Really awesome work. It's very exciting to have an official quote unquote beta that's available in the Play Store that's very easily accessible. Now I do want to mention, this is absolutely a beta. You must keep that in mind. There are going to be a ton of bugs that come up and as those bugs do come up, they are gonna work on correcting them and then of course updating the app so that way we get a better experience going forward. Now in terms of the actual application itself, we've actually seen some other YouTubers like ETA Prime do some videos he did have an APK link that you could download and sideload it onto, but now we've actually moved into an official beta stage, so you're getting a much more stable version here. And in terms of playability, there's actually a ton of games that run really, really well. Now I'm going to mention on their website, they do have a compatibility list. Now this compatibility list is mostly for their PC version of the emulator, but you can use it as a guideline in order to figure out what games are going to run properly, what games aren't. And as you can see, they kind of have a table of contents here or some sort of a, a table to identify what's actually working, what's not working, what's working really well and what hasn't been tested. And if you are just looking to kind of see, okay, what is really running well, you can go ahead and click the compatibility button and it'll automatically list all the games that are running perfectly at the top and then great and then it'll go down to games that are not running. So you can actually filter through and find games that you want that are running quite well. Now keep in mind, you're gonna need a fairly substantial cell phone in order to use these. And from what I've been reading, you're probably gonna want something with a Snapdragon 835, Snapdragon 845, or like what I've got in my device, I've got the Samsung Galaxy S10 with the Snapdragon 855, and there are the newer devices that are pushing out the latest version of the Snapdragon 86 series. So just keep that in mind. Some older devices, you may be able to get some performance, but don't expect it to be amazing. So just keep in mind, you're gonna want a fairly decent device in order to run this emulator. Now, the other thing I do want to mention, if you're not familiar with Citra, Citra requires your games from Nintendo 3DS to be decrypted. So if you've gone ahead and backed up one of your games, you are not going to just be able to dump it into a folder and then run it. You do need to decrypt it. And that's what I'm actually going to show you guys in this video. Now, there is a very simple method to do this. There is a software that's available and I've actually got that right over here and I will leave a link to this in the description down below and I'm going to show you guys how it works. It's actually super, super easy. There is a download link right over here. We're going to go ahead and download that. Now I've already done that, but once you download it, it's going to provide you with this zip file. We're going to extract it and if we open up this folder, you're going to see in here it has a batch file and this batch file is going to be able to completely decrypt your games and it's super simple. All you got to do is load your games into this folder and run that batch file. Now I am going to do that really quickly and I'm going to throw my games over on one side and I'm going to go ahead and grab the decryptor on the right hand side here. So a bunch of my games have not been decrypted. For example, I've got all of these games right over here. They are not decrypted. We're just going to go ahead and grab Cave Story 3D just as an example. All you need to do is grab it and we're going to go ahead and make a copy of it and we're going to place it in this folder here with the actual decrypting tool. Now that that's done there, 
what you could actually do is load all your games up into this folder, literally dump every single one you have right into the same folder as the decryptor and it'll actually do everything within that batch file. So I am gonna add one extra game in there and for the purposes of this, we'll just use Dragon Ball Fusions. So we're gonna go ahead and drag that and copy it over as well. Perfect, so now that it is transferred over, we have our two games. All we actually need to do is double click on this batch file. Once we do that, we're gonna get a little dialog box that pops up right over here, and it says decrypting. Now, obviously, the larger the games, the longer it's going to take. And what you're actually gonna notice is that it's going to start creating a bunch of additional files. That's totally fine. Let it completely decrypt. In fact, there's gonna be a couple more files that are created here as well. And those files will end up getting deleted once it's finished, and all you'll be left with is the actual game file as well as the decrypted version. So I am gonna skip forward just to show you guys what I mean. All right, so now that it is all finished, the decryptor is telling us we're done. You can press any key to exit. And what you're gonna see here is now we have the original files that we started with as well as a decrypted file. And it's important to note, you could try to load an undecrypted uh, original game file in Citra, but it's just not gonna launch. It'll just give you an error saying, hey, no, the game's not decrypted, we can't run it. So this is a mandatory process for any game that you've got, especially if you've backed them up right off of the actual cartridges, you're not gonna be able to run a direct backup. You are going to need to decrypt it. After that's all done, you go ahead and grab these games, load them up onto your SD card and pop them into your phone and then we're good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to an on-screen view of my phone and we're gonna go ahead and get this thing set up. All right, so here we are on my phone and I've got this just connected in via USB-C to HDMI. And I am gonna mention that I'm currently using my 8BitDo SN30 Pro Plus controller. And I'm gonna use that for pretty much all of the emulation that I do with my phone. I just find that it's a really nice controller. I'm gonna provide this link in the description down below. And this is directly from the citra-emu.org website. If you go ahead and scroll all the way down towards the bottom, we are going to be prompted with the ability to just go ahead and download the app right from the Google Play Store. So you just click on that and it's gonna go ahead and launch into the Google Play Store. Now I've already got mine pre-installed and it is the early access version. All you have to do is hit install and it'll go ahead and run it. Like I said, I already have that in there. So I am gonna go ahead and get rid of this. We're gonna go ahead and close out of all of this. And I'm just gonna go ahead and jump over to my actual emulators. And here we are. So as you can see, I've got a few games that I've loaded up. A lot of these games are games that were rated as perfect emulation or pretty darn close. And there is one game on there that I threw that I know isn't working 100%. It is a Link Between Worlds, Legend of Zelda. So I will show you guys that but I did want to show you guys some of the other games that are running actually quite well. Now, I do want to mention that if you take a peek over at the top, you're going to see that there's a little heart with a money icon. And if we go ahead and click on that, this is going to give us an option to upgrade to premium and support Citra. And I highly recommend that you guys do this. I will certainly be doing this later on tonight. I'm going to be purchasing their upgraded premium version because I do want to support the development team They've worked super hard and any support we provide them, they're just gonna reinvest it and give us a better product at the end of the day. And the nice thing as well is if you do decide to go to this premium version, you do get additional texture filters and they will actually enhance the visuals of the game. So it is definitely worthwhile. And I mean, it's only about five bucks. So it's definitely something you guys should consider if you are gonna end up downloading this emulator in the first place. Now, when you first open up the emulator, it's gonna prompt you to navigate to your SD card folder. You're gonna go ahead and do that. And if you've got the correct decrypted games, it is gonna not only display the games, but it will display the artwork for it and everything along those lines. If you end up with what looks like a cartridge with a big cross in it or a broken cartridge, that's gonna to indicate to you that your games are not decrypted properly. So you are gonna to have to reload them. And if you tried to launch them, they just wouldn't launch anyways. Now in terms of our settings, I haven't really messed around with very much here. I'm gonna leave everything as is. The only thing I did do in here is go into my gamepad settings and I did remap them. Obviously, as you can see, I've got my 8-bit SN30 Pro Plus controller pre-mapped and ready to go. So with all of this out of the way, let's go ahead and get this tested up with some emulation. I am going to run the FPS counter along the top so you guys can see both the game speed as well as what the FPS is for a specific game. And you guys can see just how well it is running. And additionally, we have the option to set up our screens any way we want. I may end up mixing it up. I haven't really played around with it, but you can set it up so that way they are side by side. You can set them up so it's one over top of another. And I'm also going to remove the on-screen touch display because I'm using a physical 
local controller, there's no need for it to be overlaid on top. With all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into a few games and I'm gonna show you guys just how well it is working. And there you guys have it, Citra running on Android right through the Play Store. Now I do got to mention there are a ton of games, even some that I've got displayed here, that are not running that well. I couldn't even get into any gameplay, it was just stuttering really bad. So keep in mind that your experience is 100% going to be dependent on what kind of device you are using. Again, I'm using a Samsung Galaxy S10 with the Snapdragon 855. And that's a fairly beefy CPU. So I'm using a relatively high-end phone and that's the type of performance that I got. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I actually really do like this emulator and there are quite a few games on that compatibility list that I think people can play through with no problems. So definitely check this out, download it if you think your phone can handle it. And even if it can't, give it a shot. I mean, there's no harm in trying. You don't have to pay for the beta version or the base version here. So definitely worth a shot. But if you do get it and you like it and you are happy with it, please consider purchasing the premium and supporting the development team. But that's more or less all I've got for you. Like I said earlier, if you are new here, go down below the video, subscribe to the channel and help me get to 30,000 subscribers and give the video a thumbs up or a thumbs down. That actually helps the video quite a bit as well. But that's all I've got for you guys. Thank you so very much for watching and I'll talk to you guys again real soon.